Hello viewers, welcome back to your favorite channel, Gamia this week, joining with me as we visit the farm of a man who believes in grow what you eat and eat what you grow. You already, yes, you already know the person, but nevertheless, we are visiting the farm of the former president, His Excellency Yaya Chame in Farato, to see the current situation of the garden, because during his time, we had a lot of things about the garden. He was a man of agriculture. He loved farming. He loved screwing what he eats. He loved livestock. He was a man of agriculture. So let's journey together as we see the uh, the look of the farm or the garden. Uh, but nevertheless, I will share with you some of the uh, things that I had about the garden before visiting the garden today. Because this is my first time coming to this garden here in Farato. So normally I do hear of stories uh, about the garden, uh, how it was before, during his time, what were the things that are there. So uh, basically it was uh, a farm before, then later on he turned it from a farm to a livestock a place. So uh, just as I said, he was someone who believed in agriculture basically. So uh, before he normally grew, banana cassava groundnut and other things so uh but later on uh, according to uh the people that i discussed before uh, visiting the farm uh, they said uh, later on he then uh, turned the farm to be a livestock where he brought uh, cows uh with different diff camels with different uh, animals uh from the wall wall and bring brought them to far out basically do not forget to like share subscribe and click that notification bell and share our videos to your friends family and uh, watch this video to the end uh, to explore with me the current look of this garden or farm okay now we are right here at the garden this is the entrance of the garden so uh before uh, this was a place where he grew groundnut bananas but right now we can see uh women are really doing well in this garden they are growing their uh onions you can see these bananas were all grown by the president of the former president of the gambia sorry uh president here jame but uh the current situation of this garden i am actually loving this because women are really adventuring into agriculture so uh right now uh, we are not seeing any woman right now but uh, we will get to talk to these women uh, so that they can share their story with us with me and you guys too so basically i am not joining this journey alone i am with you guys you can see the bananas all over so ag agriculture is one of the things that uh, can actually uh, develop a country. Uh, I think the government should really uh, invest more in agriculture to encourage youths, women, men, like everyone to do, uh, be doing agriculture. Because uh, basically Gambia is a place known for uh, agriculture. When it comes to ri rice production, groundnut, millet, like Gambia is one of the country that you can be uh, recommended to go to because the soil the soil is actually good. So uh, right now I am loving what the women of Farato are doing. This is really uh, a great thing. So uh, it's like a, it's like the place is not left unused. Uh, the women are finding a living in this garden. The women are fighting hunger in this garden because. Uh, when you grow something uh, before buying it into the market, you can just come to your garden, uh, take it from there, take it home, uh, eat it with your family and enjoy what the label you have gone through. So uh, these are lime. So I was told uh, this garden, not only women are working here, but even men are also doing extremely well in this garden. So this is actually a bravo for the Gambian yeah, for doing this instead of leaving the land unused like that they're using it for uh 
the betterness of the Gambia. They're using it to better their life, they better the life of their family. This is what we really need. We really need to uh, involve ourselves in agriculture. I don't know for you guys, but I am really inspired by what these people are really doing in this garden. Yeah, if I have the opportunity, not even having the opportunity, I will actually venture into agriculture because it is one of the richest things uh, one can venture in. Uh, it is something that is good. It is something that brings. Uh, it is something that brings development. Uh, it also contributes to the economies of the country. So uh, I'm urging the government or each and every investor in the Gambia or outside the Gambia, let us really promote agriculture. Let us make sure uh, we also uh, make uh, bring food from our own self, grow what we eat to make uh, the market easier. So this is the top. As you can see, this person is here watering the garden to make sure uh, he gets that extremely uh, fruits or uh, that extremely vegetable that he or she wants so it's actually a big big garden yeah that's the view since we started here now it seems we haven't even touched a quarter of the garden so we're still ruling so we're still moving just as i said earlier on uh, we will have a talk with the people working in this garden either one or two people to tell us uh, their story behind this garden please do not forget to like share and also subscribe uh, just to remind you this is a farm of the former president his excellency yaya chame uh, in farato where uh, he was doing agriculture livestock grilling but now, as you can see, uh, women have taken over this place, taking over this place, doing extremely well in this garden. I am actually impressed. So uh, we are moving to the other side to see uh, if we can have a talk with a lady who is doing, who is also doing wonders in this garden. Okay. So apart from Nyambo, I have no friend in friend all the Banana so I can meet a lesson Banana <laughs> 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 
nga wafi yon nga banan di ko nga wafi nga banan mo sunjo wa so a somma ko di ba sa nan ba ni la ka ngofi na so nyim banan on nal ya fi fal pareta al ka al ka wafi nga di law ala wafi ala wafi ko ka ala wafi ko ka nya di so a nya nya na ka da fa mo de ba ka ta wa ka mole ka banan jana ina san ko ila ka bon ni ka ta mat ko ka wa an mole ka na a mole ka na mole ka na mole ka na so ada lagi garin out ah kalung ko garin ko mai easy ah ada ha warat ada na ada apa muda so ada lab bata bata mana tu garin out itu lab ada orang jeep dia jeep ah keno bejat nak kene ke faham so lekat dua puluh ayam kondi jual pun lekat dua puluh ayam malah jadi jeep lebih nak kuat jeep lebih nak kuat so apa from wo jeep dan malah ada problem out ah ni jambal tu Kerja orang sana zaman tu pernah dasar kan? Sang wat orang kau sang uli film ni film. Yo, dua belas eight hundred. Barca ini dua belas lima sama uli sab. Uli sab aku beli. Ni tu bulan ni kos. Ni tu sana kos aku beli kotak wat. Kotak wat. Aku aku pun nak beli aku beli. So aku minta zaman tu ni dia la. Wadah malal tu la batera tu nyingga nyingga di nol. Aku beli aku wadah malal tu. Sayang. Sayang. Kalau minta albi ye maru ke kampung dia. Momo sah mak aku nu a. Jambang dua lakuk dua lakuk sebab boleh lalu dua lakuk polisi ala jang melayan lalu aku abis rosero kela easy de aning al al balak garden aku expand tu dah level melayan lalu kau al laf talak. Mundi morning guest orang terjang mereka mula muzik mal balun de. Hmm. Kali ajar mereka ni ambuk karu karu aku mula. Karu karu aku mula. Ah. Ni dah sakom yang kau ni sakom dua sebiji karu dua sebiji kamu. Ambuk ni. So memu jangan nak kau lihat kotor ni cuit. Jambang dua. Kamu nak kuliah apa juga? So itu lah kuma laba lor laba orang orang mana tu? Mau mui alam kau yang jana ini tu yang ni aku ah mudah bila mui alam kau mula kau export nampak export nampak dah kabun ni namp ah sari dulu kan nanti nang gandi awal ah ni aku aku mesti ah tino lagi ni aku juga jawab la karoto jawab jamal bila ni mau mui invest so ah mau kau agi kau cok kan mau tanya mula ni aku mantar agi kau cok kan ni mau ni aku malas tanya kau jual aku bata kat sana je ada end of the day buka sensor tadi aku cuma le sorok aku 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 musuh membesi wala Atau membesar ini by jangan bantah jangan ya mira aku aku jauh lalu aning sudah melayan aku kawan ini nak konfigur dengan mira aku ada ada fair ada satu nolak jangan gambar aja kau sedaya aku aku ane nala jamban dua satu ane ale dua satu ale gambar aku mau balun bilan nolak. Insyaallah. Entah lagi mana dua satu. Kondin cewel pun aku jangan jangan jangan. Ina kambar cewel le jangan. Bari cewel ke dia mukul aku. Bari jauh mana mada mada juga. Asyik aku buat semua ni baru. Ada dia aku nak wat kini. Saya tiada menin jebe jang, ngaji guna mana buatkan, jadi mana jabul sejalan. Ah, jangan dulu kalau yang ujut, ni mana saya abul aku yang kaya, mana kau yang ujut, ane mana beban, beti alam tu lama suruh jang bawa. Ah, kalau yang paling tengah dua kot, para tu busumbal diri kamu mau beli beli, baru jeng, ni agak sangat jebe kido, ni jebe jang nombor kau sari yang aku tu, baru jiko ada yang baca di bawa, so ni dia mana bawa ni, ni dia. Uh, okay guys, just as you hear from uh, Binta, the owner of the garden where we are standing right now, uh, according to her, uh, she's the owner of these uh, cassavas, bananas, and she grew a lot of things here. But the only issue and the only problem they are facing currently is water. So they are urging the government uh, individuals who can extend their hands to promote, uh, to build boreholes for bring water so, uh, taps in, the, in this garden although it's going to be a big appreciation to them so they're going to appreciate that a lot so they're urging each and every one of you over there who is watching wherever you are watching if you can support this uh, determined women who are ready to change the narrative of the gambit in the extent of growing what you eat uh, eat what you grow and grow what you eat is really going to be something that is uh, going to help the economics of the gambit so this is Binta and this is uh, her garden she's really doing extremely well in this garden but she's urging everyone to help in fertilizer. And in any how you can help uh, Binta and with those people who are working in this Farato garden, you can do so. Naya Pata said, What did you do? You made it a good deal. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Well, viewers, we have heard what Binta said. The major problem they're facing in this garden currently is water issue. So if they're able to get enough water in this garden, according to her, they will be able to feed the population of the Gambia. So let's support agriculture. Let's invest in agriculture because it is one source way that can uh, reduce the economic crisis in the Gambia, especially in the market. The food commodities are getting higher every day. So investing in agriculture uh, might reduce the high cost of food commodities in the Gambia. So this is all we have for you in our today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video and continue watching Gambia this week. See you in our next videos. Bye-bye.